What is up you guys, it's me Nubia here and on today's video, you read the title, I will be talking about the five supplements that I love and might I add that I stand by 10 toes down. I am big on herbal su supplements. I have actually been using herbal supplements since my freshman year of high school. When you go to the doctor, they prescribe you with medication and if you especially know the types of things that you need and what you're going through, more than likely, not all the time, but more than likely you can find a supplement that helps for that. So I've always been big on research when it comes to self-care, very thorough about the things that I do when I research supplements. So I have a large history. With that being said, I'm not a doctor. So the things that I recommend, I will tell you why I use them, what I use them for, and you take it upon yourself before you just go adding it to the cart, Take it upon yourself to also look into what those things can do for your body, how they can benefit your body, and also the things to stay away from for your body. We're gonna get right into the five supplements that I love, stand by, and why. The biggest change that I've gone through recently in my life is starting birth control. I started birth control about a year ago. I am actually about to stop. Um, just because of the effects that it's having on my mood and my hair. I've realized how much birth control depletes certain vitamins. A lot of these vitamins, you guys, are birth control friendly. A lot of these vitamins, you guys, are even if your hormones are out of whack and you don't you may not even be on birth control, are that friendly for those of you who are depressed and aren't getting enough um, of the vital nutrients because you may not want to eat. I definitely understand. This is also a video that will help you. And also for those of you who may hear certain things that, that you are going through that I list out from this video, this will also help you too. The first one that I wanna talk about is tried and true B Complex, y'all. The reason why I started B Complex was because I was so depressed when I first moved here that made me see that I was missing out on B vitamins, B vitamins. So I will list the foods that include B vitamins, but those foods I was not eating, y'all. All I had was an Ensure drink on hand and the occasional pizza. This is Nature's Bounty. This is probably a an affor more affordable option. It comes with 150 tablets. The biggest thing that a B complex will do for you is giving you energy. If you have an issue with fatigue and all of that, the B complex is really great for, for your metabolism. It turns your food into energy. The vitamin B1, it breaks down your carbs. Vitamin B12 is great for mental sharpness. Vitamin B3 is great for calmer moods. Vitamin B6 is great for serotonin levels. It gives you a neurotransmitter and antidepressant effect. So really look at your diet, you guys, and think to yourself, like, what am I not getting in my diet and how do I feel daily? It's not just telling you like, oh, it has B vitamins, but it also has other vitamins as well. Take a look at this ingredient list. It has biotin in it as well, which is great for maintaining your blood sugar levels, but also great for, of course, you know, your hair, your nails, your skin for some people. Some people make biotin makes them break out. So like I said, do your research. And then it also has folic acid, which is great for those of you who always feel fatigued. Birth control, you don't, you may not know this, but birth control actually does make you feel fatigued. So folic acid being in this actually will help you with that fatigue. And I know, I definitely notice a greater difference. Like I can stay up throughout the day as well as if you lack B2, this will, this is great for you because B2 is great for skin health. And then of course, B complex, all these vitamins that I'm talking about are good for your immune system as well. So definitely a B complex. Next thing that I will be talking about is a woman's probiotic. So this right here is the Physician's Choice Woman's Probiotic, and this has 50 billion CFUs. They say you don't need 50 billion CFUs. The more the merrier, that's how I feel. The less the scarier, period. Also the thing that I like about this, if you guys know about pure cranberry, pure cranberry is great for if you get UTIs and things of that sort. So this also has cranberry fruit powder in it. This right here is a much more expensive version. I like it because it has no GMOs, it's like plant-based, but I'm definitely looking for a 
more affordable option because I don't feel like you should spend that much on 30 of these, but I feel like everybody should take a probiotic. The probiotic maintains your pH balance and the bacteria. It also supports digestion and the absorption of other nutrients, which is why I recommend if you take this, you take it with your other nutrients as well and on an empty stomach. It's really good also for your gut bacteria. It helps to improve your sleep and gives you frequent bowel movements. It also reduces your cortisol levels taking a p uh, taking a ph taking a probiotic which is associated with fatigue and stress they say it can help your skin but it also is great for the lining of your gut preventing bad bacteria from getting inside your blood y'all and it's also good for you, your immune system like i said the third one is selenium i just got put on selenium y'all of course like i said going to leave it in the description I think it was recommended to me by my OBGYN. The first thing that it does, it's not the first thing, but one of the things that it does is it's an antioxidant nutrient. So those free radicals in the air, tobacco smoke, stress, UV rays, x-rays, pollution, toxic metals and chemicals in the body. One big thing that it does, if you guys have thyroid problems, it helps with the functioning of your thyroid gland and controls your metabolism. It's crucial because as we get older, we lose the selenium in our body. So it's crucial to keep that up so that you don't decline mentally. The other thing that I like about it is it's supportive in maintaining the health of your skin, hair, and nails. And it's also a good supplement for depression. And I heard it's also good for postpartum depression as well. So definitely selenium on the beach, y'all. Now we're going to get into my second to last favorite one. This one is more on the expensive scale, y'all. But it has three vitamins in one. So I will just name like the benefits of each of them and you can figure out which one works best. But I need all of it. Mag Enhance, listen. I did not know how much I was missing out on magnesium. I did some research and I looked into a whole bunch of magnesiums, their absorption levels, and I found three that work for me. The reason why I use magnesium is to regulate my hormones as well as to help with my anxiety. I also work out in the morning and you guys may not know this, but magnesium is great for your muscles as well. Because as you work out, you lose magnesium. I think you lose magnesium, potassium, and sodium. I'm not sure, but I will fact check myself. Let me tell you the three ones that they have in this. So it has magnesium L threonate and magnesium glycinate and magnesium taurate. So I'm going to tell you, I only take two of these a day. Firstly, we're going to start with glycinate. Glycinate for my woman is known to reduce your PMS systems. Although, yes, I am on birth control, I do still get some cramps sometimes where I be having to sit in bed. Now, it's not as bad as they used to be, but it's definitely some cramps that I be needing to pop, you know, some ibuprofen. Ever since I started taking that, once my period does come around, basically withdrawal bleeding, once my period does come around, I'm not experiencing none of that. This type of magnesium glycinate also puts more magnesium into your bloodstream. For those of you who find it hard to sleep at night, it really actually helps. I notice it really helps. And I know most of the time you get anxiety at night for some people, and so it really helps just ease your nerves. It balances your hormones, y'all. It's good for benefiting the function of your muscles, your nerves, and your tissues, which is why I said it's good to take it before you work out. And as well as if you get a lot of migraines and you, if you're lacking in foods that have magnesium and you notice you get a lot of mag, you get a lot of magnesium and you notice you get a lot of migraines, try to take magnesium glycinate and see if it, if it helps because it puts it in your bloodstream. Next magnesium that I'm going to talk about that is in this is L threonate. Boom. L threonate basically puts magnesium in the brain. And this is one thing that I noticed about it, taking it, memory, 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 long-term and short-term memory. If you know, being on birth control is basically like being pregnant. You don't get the same experience because having a child in your belly is way different. But the hormone type of thing is basically what birth control is because it stops you from ovulating and everything of that sort. So 
in that birth control brain where you forget everything, I notice a big difference in taking magnesium and I think l 308 has a lot to do with it because it helps with your short term and your long term memory. It helps you pay attention a lot more and it also helps with your mood. It's the type, it's like glycinate, right? Except it penetrates your brain, helps with your memory, and it helps with your mood without making you sleepy. I notice a big, big difference in being able to just focus on one thing at a time. And the last thing is magnesium torate. And magnesium torate is really just great for your heart, really great for your blood pressure. This magnesium also gets into your brain, but it's an anti-inflammatory. It also helps with detoxifying your liver. Big thing for people on birth control because that birth control goes right to that liver and just affects everything. It's calming, it lowers your blood pressure, it basically regulates your cell development and cell protection. It's good for your brain, your nerves, your muscles. I think it's just, I personally think that it's good for like blood pressure, heart issues. So if you're more of on like the heart health side, Definitely look into Torre, but me personally, I love l 308 and I liked how all of these things have things that I need. But if you don't need one thing, don't just buy all three of these and get expensive stuff. But definitely y'all, look into Mag Enhance or look into just every magnesium. Look into every single magnesium because you will be surprised at what you can do. I've been gatekeeping this because the last thing that I need is for y'all to be selling this out because this right here is the best. The, I feel like the best supplement for women. Dandelion root. Stop letting folks play with y'all. Stop letting folks play with y'all. Stop letting folks play with y'all with that ashwagandha. Stop letting folks play with y'all with this root, that root. Um, root of the hair, root of the trees, all that. Stop letting folks play with y'all and telling y'all to just buy these, a whole bunch of vitamins. It says you should take three a day. I take two and it's good enough. And you wanna know how I know it works? Let me just tell you what it does first. Listen, if you got water weight or you retain water a lot, this is for you. If you have gut issues, yeah, that gut's been poking out. You've been doing so many crunches. You're like, dang, when is this gut gonna go away? No, this is the supplement for you. Listen, if you are on birth control and you have a birth control with a high amount of estrogen in it, this is the one for you. If you have bloating issues, this is the supplement for you. If you have blood sugar issues, this is the supplement for you. If you have blood pressure issues, this is the supplement for you. You may think I'm playing, but am I laughing? I ain't laughing. Like I told y'all, your birth control, it, it manifests right in that liver, right? Which is hence why you will get a lot of that water weight, right? Why you will feel that you will have that little pudge, right? That never goes away no matter how much you weigh, y'all. No matter how much I weighed, I still had that little pudge. Dandelion root helped so much. Let me just tell y'all the facts really good with getting rid of your water weight. Like I said, it detoxifies the liver, so you may pee a lot more, but it gets rid of the water weight through you peeing. Not only just detoxifying the liver, but getting rid of excess hormones, you guys. If you're getting off of birth control and you need something that'll help that transition, dandelion root. Through natural processes, you're able to get rid of those excess hormones. If taking dandelion root, contains vitamin C, magnesium, iron, potassium, zinc, and calcium, all important things. If you have a lot of UTIs, dandelion root. It lessens your PMS symptoms, similar to like I said, magnesium does. And then it also is good for you guys regulating your blood sugar levels. Definitely look into dandelion root. When men take this, it says it can keep sperm from performing the rigorous journey toward egg fertilization. Man, what? Y'all, do your research. And if you are the type to be allergic to roots, make sure you just are not allergic to this because the roots are the things that have like the most allergies for me at least. I, when I started this, I might have had a headache for like a good three days. Not straight, but like off and on. But after that, y'all, I'm talking about the next day. I'm talking about 
waist on skinny mini i'm looking like mariah carey I'm let like, me know if you have any other questions comment below and i'll get right back to you guys i got all of these on amazon so i will definitely just have a quick one to link for y'all and yeah thank you guys so much for watching i will see you on the next video all right bye